Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, Trim Air Audits. I'm Steve, I'll be your host and pilot for the day. And we're here today to take a look at Lant Manon Unibake, excuse the uh, pronunciation there, uh, at Kingston Milton Keynes. <laughs> So yeah, here we are guys, on the Kingston Industrial Estate, on the outskirts of Milton Keynes near the M1, Lant Man and Unibake. I've got to say guys, this place smells fantastic. I'm getting a whiff here, I'm guessing they bake things. So we're standing outside Site 2 Main Reception at Site 1 down the road there, we're on the perimeter. We'll have a quick look at the building here. There's some structures around the back which I'm sure will look great from the air. Can't wait to see those. Oh, the smell, oh my God, the smell is amazing. So yeah, we'll stay on the public footpath, guys, and we will take a walk around the perimeter. It's quite a large building, so I wonder what we can see. A few cars in the car park today. Let's get a look at the sign frontage there, reception of the building, five miles per hour sight speed limit. Let's see if I can get you a zoom in. Oops, power lead just popped out there. Back in we go. Let's see if I can get you a nice zoom on that can read signs. Main entrance reception site one, off to the right there. That looks like the intercom button. If we don't spot anybody, we'll let them know we're going to be taking the drone over. Um, a little bit of signage up there, what have we got there? Looks like a CCTV warning one, so we'll keep an eye out for cameras guys, won't we? That'll be kind of cool, won't it? We, we like to spot cameras. So we'll continue our walk down here, taking a look at the frontage of Lantman and Unibake. Oh, the smell, I'm gonna keep talking about the smell. It is something else, mate. You've gotta smell this place, it smells delicious. I'm hungry already. So, quite a few cars here today. So there's some action on the site until the machinery is working. Some towers up the end there. They look rather good, don't they? I wonder what we'll spot there. I wonder if that's something to do with the uh, manufacturing of, and baking of the goods. Some cars there. Got some pipe work in the doorway there. Intercom bell. Little gap in the hedge here guys. Looks like people might be using this as a way in. And there's a fact there's one or two of these. I wouldn't want to walk through that one though. A bit prickly. Oh now look at this. Electric vehicle charging points. We like to spot those don't we? There's looks like two there. Two spaces. And there's a vehicle plugged in, a BMW i3. Nice number plate, guys. In the doorway there. I'll give you a zoom on this one, guys, because it looks like we've got some action on the door. Some hand sanitizer stations, perhaps. I'm taking health and safety quite seriously there. There we go, some signage, which I can't read from here, but maybe we'll get a look if we have a... There we are. So, yeah, two EV charging points. Big plus for that, guys. Very nice to see that. Now, there's some towers here. Can you see them there behind the trees? Look at those. That must be to do with the baking. So a few more cars in the car park there. Looks like some loading bays there. This is a huge site. It's going to be looking good from the air, guys. I feel this will be quite interesting. Some pallets stacked there. Barrier. Pallets stacked in front of the barrier. Uh, here we go. Look, private property signs. No entry. Private property. No access. That sign is seriously on the wonk, guys. It's on a wonky lamppost. Look at that. There we go. Looks like somebody might have hit that with a vehicle at some point and some bits to the ground there. So yeah, public access this part here, but it says private property, so we will not be going any further onto site than this. There is our crates. Gates open. Not necessarily a good idea to see the gates open, guys. Maybe there's a lot of vehicular access here. Crates stacked up around that truck. He's not going anywhere. Some loading bays. Another sign up there, that man in Unibake. A load more pallets, look at this. Barrier, stop sign on it, but it's open because uh, that's not barriering anything, guys, if it's uh, got those pallets in the way there. We've got a skip there. I'll check we're clear to walk down here, no traffic. We're still on the public footpath here, guys. Nice and steady. Looks like we might have a security box there. Pedestrians give way. More pallets, different colour ones this time. I wonder if the colours are significant at all. So there's our skip, we saw that just on the walk up. Entrance way there, pedestrian crossing point. Looks like there's a mirror there, if I zoom in on that for you. There we go. 
That's presumably for vehicles exiting so they can see around the corner and see it's clear to leave because there is a side access road just there and lots of signage about site safety. I wonder if we can get a look at that. This could also be a place to tell them I'm bringing up the drone. So is there any action in there? It looks like I see a vis jacket, but is there a person? We have a camera on a pole. Let's get a zoom at that camera. In we go. Looks like a dome type. It looks like it can be moved behind smoke glass, so we can't really tell what it could be looking at. We've got our sight safety sign now. I wonder if I can get a read of the sign. No smoking, foot mare. That's standard stuff by the looks of it. Sorry guys, I'm right on zoom here. I don't want to go any closer because of the private property sign just now. Looks like there's a jacket there, but does anybody belong to anybody? So I can access road there. This is a big site, guys. Let's continue our walk around. Let's get a little look in here. Let's see what we can see from out here. Some loading bays. Give you a zoom on this one. Stretch right in there. Not sure what that is. Transport of goods, maybe. So it looks like lifters to get to height. Door into the building there. Some floodlights. One, two, and three loading bays. The third one just out of shot there. I'll move out and get you a look at that one. It is not all the way shut. There's something down there. Trapdoor. <laughs> Showing my age now, people. Okay, we'll bring the zoom back out and we'll continue our walk of the perimeter. I wonder if we can get a full circuit of this or whether it will be cut off on the ground. So, here we go. Car park. Looks like a porter cabin of some description. Porter cabin is a trademark, by the way. Other brands of exterior cabins are available. Is that a lifter? Star platforms for hire. There we are. Let's get a zoom on that one. Bit of equipment there. We do like a bit of equipment. Not sure what that would be lifting. It looks like it's connected to a charging point or some sort of hoist. More pallets. More pallets. Chap and hive is there behind the tree. I wonder if he'll say anything to me. Looks like another loading bay or access there. That's some electrical gear. Got a chap there. And us a look. Got a hairnet on. Nice building. What's that? Some machinery there. Let's have a look at that machinery. We've been spotted. Whether he'll come and say anything to us is another matter. That looks like air conditioning. Can you imagine how hot and stuffy it gets in there with all that baking equipment? That's presumably some sort of service or maintenance bay. I can't imagine them loading trucks here. The access is just too tight. So here we are, site one main reception. So it's quite a walk all the way back down. I'll just give you a look back up the road where we've come from. All the way back there in the distance. It's a good walk. And you can probably see from here, let's get a look at those towers, those silos. Zoom in on those. There we go, behind the trees. You see, these are the sort of things I'd like to see from the air. Sorry guys, truck coming fast. Santa Maria, not one of ours. Today's audit. Let's go around to the front of the building. I presume this is the front. Private property signs again. That private property, no access. Just give you a look at that. I don't want anybody here. And we shall, of course, respect it. Because that's as good as a person saying private property. And what's this? More electric vehicle charging points. One, two, three, four. Top marks, guys. And there's two turrets there. So it looks like one turret serves two vehicles. Four points. That's super stuff. Really, really good stuff, guys. Public access walkway there. Guy in a hive is in reception. I wonder if he's clocked us. Let's get you a look at that building there. Nice building frontage with an overhanging roof part there. Perhaps that's for protecting people who smoke cigarettes. See so a hand sanitizer on the door there. That's all very good. Nice and safe. Guy with a, on the phone looking straight at us. I wonder if he'll come out and talk to us. Give you a zoom on him. There he is, look. Mr. Hive is on the phone. And he's off. There we go. We need to, we'd like to tell someone we're taking the drone over. So if any of these guys do come out, that'll be our opportunity. Person coming through shot in a car now. There we go. So that's the building, guys. That's the front of it. Let's see if we can go any further. And get another look further around here. Chap backing into his EV parking point. Not sure if that's an EV, or is he using it to turn? He's turning around. So we're going to go around the, what looks like the front of the building now. 
Oh, they're hiring. They've got a poster here, guys. Let's get a snap of this. Fantastic. QR code on it as well. There we go. Let's capture that one. Hiring now. Lanthvanen Unibake. Immediate start. Email your details to... Oh, I'm not going to read that out. QR code on the right if you're interested. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic stuff. Another camera up there on a pole. Let's give you a little zoomy zoomy on that bad boy. There we are. A dome type camera. Seem to be fairly consistent with their camera types here. Perhaps they're using one and only one. They'll probably be aware. They've seen us. All's fair in CCTV. It's so on the corner of the building now. There's a revolving door there. Some glass fronted. Typical Milton Keynes building design. Very nice. Quite modern looking, I think. Quite efficient. I imagine it would be quite uh, comfortable to work in there. Somebody going in there. Accidental inclusion at this point. We're not looking at you particularly, young lady. I'm very sorry about that. Just continue our walk down the front of the building. A bit of trees coming across shop now. The building continues. That's it. 100 yards or so, maybe. Another well, footpath way in here. The road. No fences. It's quite a thing around buildings in Milton Keynes. There are no fences around these places. But I think it's fairly obvious where the perimeter is. Um, where the, where the thing begins and ends. Another CCTV on the pole there. Let's give you a zoom on that one. That appears to be covering a particular area. It's pointed off down to the right there. If you can see that from here. Sorry about the wobble, guys. I'm on full zoom here. Let's cut back. Yeah, and there's the edge of the building right there. And it looks like a bicycle shed. Green bin. A bit of signage there. Can't quite make out what that says. Sorry about the noise, guys. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just continue to the edge of the building. I don't think there's any more we can see around this way. But I think we can complete our circuit around the back. There's a repeat of the hiring poster. Just give you a pan on that one. Quite busy here, lots of activity on the roads. Lots of cars. Quite close to a main Tesco. Other supermarkets are available. Yeah, there's a look down the side of the building there. Let's see how much we can see from here without... On the way in, there's a bit of pipe work there. Bit of signage. There's bushes in the way here. Oh, sorry about the wobble, guys. There we go. It's like an access to the back or side of the building by the looks of that. Nothing particularly egregious to see there. We'll look back down the building facade there towards the front. And I don't know if we can get further around this way. I think we're at the edge now, guys. We might have to walk back again. Yeah, well, it's a big rock climbing centre now, so we'll just go back, I think. <coughs> so at this point, we're on the lookout for anybody so we can let them know as a matter of courtesy because remember we're telling not asking uh, that we'd be taking the drone over this should be a really good flight uh, we should be able to see a lot from the air i'm quite interested in looking at those silos <laughs> and because they've got some eco features out the front here in the form of charging points uh, and rubbish bins and stuff like this I've, they've kept the grounds tidy as well look, lots of landscaping and things like this um, i'd like to see if they've got any solar panels or anything like this. They've done well, very well on the eco-friendly side so far. No, no actual marked off walkways in the car parks though, that's a bit meh. Just regular good old spaces, but still. Electric vehicle charging points guys, big plus. Big plus. A raven landing there, can you see that? It's over the sh shop, no, you can't see that, the bushes. They've got nicely landscaped here. I may have said that before. So there's our building front again. This is where we saw the chap in the high vis. So this might be our place to say we're taking the drone. I will actually walk, see if we can ring the bell at some point and tell somebody what we're doing here. So I feel we ought to let them know. It's a big site and they have got some tall structures there so we do need to be careful. Wind's quite low. Let's hang here for a moment and see if Mr. High vis makes a reappearance. seeing anything at the moment. Not seeing anybody. Let's continue to walk along the perimeter. Yeah, if we don't see anybody it's no drama, we'll just send uh, the drone up. If there's anybody there to, who pops up and has a word, we'll tell them as they pop up. But I would rather say so first, because frankly I don't want to be interrupted when I'm flying. I don't have to stop the drone flight to tell them why I should be allowed to continue. So, I might 
look to ring the bell actually let's go to the front reception bell and we'll just let them know site one reception it says here this must be it this must be reception so we'll go in here and tell them now it does say private property but with, there is this thing called implied or assumed right of access which allows somebody to cross private property in order to ring the doorbell to drop off post for example so that's what we're going to do i'm looking to see if i can see a bell or a ring for attention type thing doesn't seem to be anything there i don't see any bells i see a hand sanitizer station let's go around the front again and take a look and maybe there's somebody we can ask What's that? Is that a bell? Hmm. Not very clear, is it? If you're a visitor, where you'd need to go. Perhaps I'm missing something. It did say come down here, didn't it? Visitor's reception. That must be it there, guys. It must be it. It must be it. I don't see a bell there. How would we be able to ring and say we're taking the drone over? What's that doorway there, halfway down? Let's have a look there. Is that a bell I can see on there? It seems to be one there. Is that a intercom? It's hard to tell from here, isn't it? I really would like to ring the bell and tell somebody, but I don't see anybody to tell. Leaves us in a bit of an awkward position, really, guys, doesn't it? So, look at the front again. We are going up, though, guys. We are taking the drone up, fear not. I just would rather have told them up front. That does look like reception, doesn't it? I think we'll approach that, those doors there. But let's go on the footpath. Let's go back around again. Fair bit of walking here today, guys. <laughs> so we can talk to these people and tell these lovely people what we're going to do. I'm going to keep building in shot here as I walk around the corner. Not always easy to do. There's a letterbox there, so this must be the main entrance. Yeah, this must be it. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and see if there's a bell we can ring. So we'll walk up here. Just ask if there's anybody we can talk to. Is there a bell clear to across the road? No entry, no entry. Eh? This is, maybe this is not. This is just by appointment only, no cold callers. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can ring the bell and let them in. It says visitors by appointment only, no cold callers, no bell, no bell. So let's go. We're going to go and ring the bell. <laughs> At least we know electric charging, super stuff. Look at those points there. Beautiful. Very good to see that. So I think we need to be looking at in terms of where we're going to choose our launch point from now. So I think this corner might be good. It's a little fluttering of wind today, but we are well within our operational limits. This corner would appear to be good because we've got a warehouse just over there. Blum, I'll tell you what guys, look at that big glass bit there. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? I think we might go there next, actually. That's an interesting looking building. Look at those jaunty angles. A bit cheeky, huh? So yeah, that's our next target, I think. For the meantime, we will launch from here, out the front, and we can get a look all the way across the building. Plenty of clear space. We're a good way from the motorway, good way from the Tesco's, which is just down there. We've got plenty of green space here. It gives us margins if we decide to go wrong. So. I think and here we are at Lant Manon Unibake. It's now time without further ado to get Doris up and see what this place looks like from the Trim Air Audit's bird's eye view. Well guys, that was Lant Manon Unibake, Kingston Industry, Milton Keynes. Yeah, pretty standard stuff as audits go. Um, disappointing that we couldn't announce our presence, that's not very good is it? It's a no visitors allowed without appointment, so we couldn't ring the bell and say we were taking Doris over. But nobody came out to disturb us, so that was good. Um, on the plus points, we've got electric vehicle charging points. Big bonus for that one guys. 
Uh, disappointed to see a lack of solar panels though. Plenty of signage, all very clear. Uh, private property signs everywhere. Not very big though guys, and considering you've got no fencing, it's maybe not that obvious you don't want people on site. But uh, we did see the signs and we have of course respected them. So that's it, that man and Unibake, Milton Keynes. Just start the camera for the walk back now. Body cam still running, of course. And there's a security box. Maybe we should tell him here. We're going to take the drone over. What do we think, guys? Yeah. for the walk back. Get another look at this yard entrance there. Not much for really to see is there boys and girls. Yeah. Stock barriers there, lots of cones. Chap going up to his car with all of his gear on. Big no entry sign there. Private property no access. Report to security. Look at that. Zoom in there. Report to security. Well, we did try. There's nobody to report to, though, is there? Not much to say, really, guys. A little flashing amber on top of that gate there. Let's give you a zoom on that. Can you see that? Some sort of cautionary light. There we are. Not sure what the meaning of that is. But, uh, there we go. Hello, sir. Right. Hello, yeah, I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Um, just making a little film about your business here. You work here, do you? Do you, do you work here? Why are you making a film? I find it interesting. I'm not working for anybody, so don't worry about that. And I'm not going to burgle the place. I just, I just like, the, I like the look of the place. You've got those big tall towers. These things here. So, uh, what do you do here? Do you make the bread? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, I'm just going to be taking a drone over in a few moments, okay? Thank you. You didn't seem very happy to see us. Didn't want to talk to us. That's a shame. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Didn't want to talk to us. Well, at least he came out and talked and did challenge us. That's fair enough, I suppose, but... Uh, it would have been nice to know a little bit about those silos, wouldn't it? He didn't seem to like the camera. But, uh, oh well, there we go. Let's continue with the front of the building then. Now we'll walk back. Those silos are fascinating, aren't they? Look. Look at this. I wish he told us what they did with them. That would be really interesting to know. But I like the idea that we could find out how they made the bread because that's what they do that's a bakery isn't it so they bake they make bread and they must ship it out because they've got a yard look that must be what they do with it look. I wonder how tall those towers are I did check before I came out guys to make sure that we'd be well clear on the drone and of course we are so uh, yeah. now chaps just got into his electric vehicle MI7 Sun or M17 Sun. Back the entrance way there. Yeah, let's just carry on with our little video, guys. Let's take another look at those silos. They are great looking things, aren't they? Absolutely fascinating. There goes our chap there, MI7 Sun. I wonder if he actually works here. Those Absolutely beautiful looking things. Magnificent. They hold the key to the mystery for me. What do they do with them? Do they make things? Do they bake it here or do they just distribute it? Some more signs on that gate. Let's get a zoom on that. Let's get a zoom on that gate. There we go. That looks like a camera. 
looks like they're saying you must wear high-vis jackets and no pedestrian access. Burglar alarm. Can't sail from here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, there we go, burglar alarm. Okay, good stuff. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it for this place, guys. I think I don't think there's much else to see. That's a doorway there. And that looks like the bike sheds again. Main reception site one, that's telling us to go back to the front. So yeah, I think we were in the right place, but I don't think they would have been very happy to talk to us if that guy we just spoke to there was any representation of what was happening. More private property, no access. And those big old drums at the back there. Yep. Super. Yeah, it's a big old site, isn't it? It's huge. Absolutely huge. Well, it's time to get Doris out and see what Lantmanen Bakery looks like from the trim air audits, bird's eye view. done our drone assist check. We are clear to fly, a couple of cautions, we've taken notice of those. So let's start our motors. Take off. Motors started. Just waiting for GPS to catch up here guys, I've got a no GPS fly with caution. And there we go. Take off, take off, take off. Nice and clear on the visuals. look at the signage from the corner where we took off and we're just looking down the yard there where we can see that big old drum I wonder what's in that drum anybody with knowledge care to comment please chip in in the comments thank you very much it's climbing up to 50 here give ourselves a nice clear view and we'll ensure we remain clear of any ground obstructions. There are some silos here, but they are seriously below where we are. So, no need to worry about that. Let's go for a fly and see what we can see. It looks like some sort of yard there. Not sure what they do there, though. What this part of the business might be used for. That nice chap said that they make the bread, so... Absolutely. Not really sure what they do. Let's zoom. What can we see here? It looks a bit like construction materials to me. So I'm like making something. I mean, and again, anybody with any expertise want to chime in, please feel free. So we'll come back. And we'll continue with our flight. Looks like next door's business. I don't think that's the same place. So we'll go across to the end. Air conditioning fans. Looks like the perimeter there. Yeah, let's take a look down the side of the building. Yeah, that's definitely the edge of the business there. So it goes a long way forwards, doesn't it? Let's take a look. A long way forwards. Yeah, that's definitely next door. Let's fly along the edge there. Looks like the yard in there. There's the yard, right there. There's our silos. We'll get a good look at that yard on the way back round, I think. Someone coming down the path, but I don't think he's affiliated with this place. Yeah, that's the rest of the factory there, look. As you can see, there's a lot here. We'll look out for those EV parking points and where we saw Mr Happy a few moments ago, shall we? Yeah, there we go, looking across the roof. I don't see any solar panels. No solar panels visible, that looks like air conditioning equipment there. The chap having his phone called out as he came past. There's the car park on the front and the side of the building, so we're going to have a look at that. It's all nicely landscaped, isn't it, guys? No walkways, though, from visible from the car parking. So if you are leaving the ve your vehicle and heading into work here, just be careful. 
you don't run out of uh, places to work. walk. In yeah, front is that? What's that? That's glass covering. Okay. Now, EV points. It'll be along this way somewhere. Actually, no, they're around the other side. Yeah, just around. We can see them as we turn right. There we go. Just coming into shot now. There's our flags at the beginning at the front of the building there. There's our EV, our main reception where we tried to announce our presence just under that covered walkway just centre right shot there and there's our electric vehicle charging points right there below us take a look up in the front of the building there looks like some air vents air conditioning stuff what's that down there a security hut of some sort maybe there's our yard we'll get a good look at that in a moment and along here is where where our chap came out, I think it might be along here somewhere. Yeah, some car parking spaces. Yes, he was in one of these two EV spaces right there. So if you look there, that's where Mr. MI7 came out right there. We'll just continue our flight along the side of the building here and we'll turn back and look at the yard in a minute. So I think that's got some interesting things in it. It's a big old site, isn't it, guys? Big old site. next door's yard there. Yeah, a bit of equipment on the roof there. That's the smoking shed, or the bike shed down there. And back to where we came in here. And there's me just there. Little black dot down the ground there. But we don't want to look at that. That's not very interesting, is it, ladies and gentlemen? Came to look at this bad boy here. So, the yard. Let's have a look at the yard. That seems to me to be where all the action's going on. We've got our three silos there that I must admit looked impressively taller from the ground and from the air so that's not that's a bit disappointing not really their fault though is it let's be fair let's get a zoom in on those there's some action going on down there is that a guy moving a forklift around let's try and keep those silos in center frame there and get a zoom see if we can see anything interesting on that you can hear the seagulls we're about as far from the sea as we can get here guys Looks like some sort of pipe work and access bits there. There's the birds. There they are. Lots of pallets. Different coloured ones. Is that green ones or are they covered over? Hard to tell, hard to tell. Three silos. I wonder what they keep in there. Chap in a hive is there. More pallets, different colours. Obviously the key to the pallets, colour the colour is what they do. That uh, truck is trailer there is surrounded, it's not going anywhere. Some loading bays there. A flickering light effect again guys, can you see that? Just strobing away there. Must be something to do with the uh, frame rates I suspect. Some loading bay doors there. Oh the smell up here is fantastic guys, it really is. Catching a little whiff of what I presume is bread making. Yeah so there's a bit going on down in the yard there, some rubbish skips, that one looks like it's overflowing. Different coloured bins, I imagine some are recycling, so that's good to see. What's that in the middle there, guys? Is that a substation? Is that a power transformer? Looks like it might be. We're doing maximum zoom there, so I can't go any further in. Could be a substation. A plant like this would consume fairly large levels of power, so it would presumably require some uh, three-phase hookup. There's our forklift there, moving around. He hasn't got anything on his forks, though. You could say he's moving fork all. <laughs> I'll get my coat. Oh look, there we go, he's moving something there. Let's watch what he does with that. Be quite amusing, won't it? Quite interesting. Let's see where he takes it. And a chap walking behind him. Nice to see him in high vis. Safety conscious. And we've got a truck coming in on there. Okay, so he's going into the loading bay with that pallet of goods. The chap coming in with what looks like a wheelie bin down there. A bin of goods, I assume. That chap's coming out again in his forklift through the lorry. Mr. Hive is standing at the end there. Shouldn't be checking his way, is clear. And I've just seen a truck emerge from the yard, so... Yeah, let's see what else. Good to see a bit of action in the yard. People wearing the right safety gear. Let's move forward a bit more. There's a tyre marks on the ground there. There's our security box. 
Didn't see anybody there though. Didn't see anybody when I walked past either. No clear mark for eight footways on the ground, that's good. Some green walkways there. Nice to see pedestrian ways marked out. Safety conscious, good job there guys. Barriers splitting up the yard. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good from the air, I'd say. A shot across the loading bays there, not much going on there. You hear a steady background hum here, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Okay, so I think it's probably time to bring Doris back now. We're on 44% battery. We've had a good look. Let's pull the zoom all the way back. Bring Doris home, I think. Let's get a look across as we go. Give you one last look before we turn around and bring her back. There we go. Entrance way down there. Our EV charging points. When Mr. Happy came along. So I feel we should be more or less here. The range here is 41 metres and most of that will be straight up. There's the sea, guys. We do have to watch out for birds flying these drones, guys, because not birds flying drones, of course, that would be silly. But uh, wildlife takes priority. We should bring her down now, so we'll just. A visual. There she is. There's a fair amount of breeze today, guys, isn't there? Just turn around and bring her back up here. Here we go. Interesting controlled landing going on here. definition of control happening right now. Let's do a visual check up and down. Nice and clear, we've got a pedestrian incoming but they're a fair way off yet. Make sure we're nice and clear of that footway there. There we come. Okay, landing mode, landing mode, here we go. And all stop, all stop. Yeah. I'll do another outlink actually guys, because this little walk back video turned into something, didn't it? So, let's do a shot here. Lampman and Unibake guys, beware the staff that come out, ask you questions and run away. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, please consider subscribing. I've been Steve, your host and pilot for the day, and this has been a Trim Air Audit. Drone assisted citizen auditing, as real as it gets. I'll do for now.